Now, among the hundreds of radio stations in Russia, there is one that's seemingly out of this world. Instead of music or news, these broadcasts are of mysterious voices and noises, which have got radio enthusiasts baffled. RT Igor Piskunov has been tuning in. The sound has been gripping the imagination of radio spotters worldwide for over three decades. The UVB-76, also known as the buzzer. It first aroused my interest because it is so strange. Personally, I think it's a legacy device that's been left over from the late 70s or 80s from the military operations at the time. Its original purpose has been forgotten. They say it's been going like this since the start, whenever that was. Sometimes the buzzer stops and a male, robotic-like voice lists names and numbers in Russian. Some believe it's the Soviet Union's and now Russia's contact with spies, or even civilizations from other worlds. Yaroslav has been a radio fan since his childhood. He's also had his share of the buzzer, but his explanation of its purpose is much more down to earth. This sort of connection is extremely reliable. It will shut down in case of a large nuclear explosion, but only for a few hours. It's not dependent on anything. That's why it's still widely used today by the army. The idea is pretty simple. A military radio station sends out the buzzer, which is received by other army bases. By stopping the buzzer, the operator signals that a command code of letters and numbers is about to be broadcast. When the transmission is complete, the buzzer turns on again. Yaroslav said Moscow's radio spotting community know where the signal used to come from, a base outside of the capital. But this is what we saw there. And this man is the only living soul we could find on the spot. He used to work at the base and still lives in a village nearby. This used to be one of the best units in the country, but two years ago we received an order to shut it down. We were told it consumed too much energy. There is also another similar unit. It still operates. Could it be that the legendary buzzer used to beam out of this building? And where is the signal coming from now? It looks like we won't be able to find any signs of that mysterious transmitter here because the equipment was literally ripped out of the walls and floors of the building when the base was shut down. But some things are actually still here, like this journal with the last entry dating back to May 2009. But the sound is still there, wherever it's coming from. Buzzing through the radio ether almost as if it always has and always will. A simple technology that's conquered the minds of thousands. Igor Piskunov, RT, Moscow.